The cultural heritage of any society begins with a spark of imagination and the nurturing of talent. Copyright Agency Limited's Cultural Fund provides grants for projects that support the creative industries, encouraging writers, artists and publishers to share their works. I'm very conscious that the publishing industry, like all the arts industries at the moment, is in a state of flux. Institutions like Cal and the Cultural Fund become even more important um, and I feel it a duty that, that actually part of the income that I very fortunately get from my writing uh, goes back to, to something like Cal. Winning the Cal, Cal Award for the Best Works on Paper, um, it's benefited me in a lot of ways because it's um, allowed me to focus more on my creative work. Um, it's actually given me the confidence to open other avenues now and try different styles of work like multimedia and paper. It's just helped me realise that I can try something new and actually have rewards for it and get paid off. A, a new thought for the future to actually think about exhibiting in other places rather than just Australia all the time. I am a slam poet and received Cal funding to go to the Berlin International Literature Festival uh, and compete in Slam Review, which is a international slam where I won, which was awesome. The Cal Cultural Fund has enabled us to deliver a program called Scattered Bones, which is a writing enterprise that goes out via video conference from the museum to some of the most remote schools in Australia. Without the Cal funding, we wouldn't be able to reach the 6,000 kids that we reached last year, 200 odd schools, and they simply would miss out on this fantastic cultural resource. The money that the Cultural Fund provides for the Overseas Journalism Internship Program uh, allows us to send students uh, to experience international media in places as far apart as Atlanta and Abu Dhabi. It's a fabulous experience for students and it means that students who don't necessarily have the material means to go overseas themselves can do it as a result of the Cultural Fund money. Spending time in Abu Dhabi, I think, opened up a lot of doors for when I came back to Australia and started applying for jobs or for more work experience. I feel like my writing style really benefited from working on that newspaper for three weeks and most definitely also helped in getting me the cadetship here. In 2006, we started a partnership with Cal to look at supporting a young Aboriginal person who was, had shown some real talent but needed some, some assistance. Since then, Cal's supported us on a number of occasions with our writing and illustrating workshops that we hold on a regular basis to help Aboriginal artists and storytellers develop the skills necessary to be able to publish their stories. The one great thing about graphic novels is that um, it's an excellent way to tell a story. You know, it's um, rather than just the literacy itself. You know, there's a visual literacy that that you know one picture equals a thousand words. It's basically, you know, it's pictures that tell a story and there's words in it that make a picture. The writers and residents that Cal funds are the, the best talent that Australia has. So these are writers who are at the top of their craft. So this residency program allows us to bring them into the university context. One of the opportunities of being a writer in residence is the chance to do some teaching. You know, I love that idea. I love the, the, the the way in which that makes you articulate about your craft. And that's exciting and I want to do that, I want to be part of that. I've been invited to participate in an exhibition of children's picture books in China called Swimming With Stories. It's been funded by Cal. The Swimming With Stories project has elicited a lot of interest in China, but without funding from organisations like Cal, we just couldn't send an exhibition and four artists across. Uh, I think the, the connection between what we're trying to do and Cal's of having artists' interests at the core of what they do and what they want to fund is really vital as well. The initiative of the Cal Cultural Fund has been central in meaning that we can work with people like journalists, artists and photographers to ensure they're properly equipped to be as effective in the 21st century as they were in the 20th century. The Cultural Fund has supported our conferences for the last three years. We hope that this partnership achieves one of the very important objectives of the Cultural Fund, which is to nurture talent, and that uh, we will see the results over the years to come. 1.5%, as I understand, 
goes to the Cal Cultural Fund, and I think that's a great thing because we should be, those of us who've, you know, sort of coming to the end probably of our writing lives, should be helping all sorts of ways of encouraging people to write, to talk, to understand, to debate what Australia means and so on. So I'm very happy that the Cultural Fund exists and very pleased that a tiny bit of it is from, is from my earnings. Cal has distributed more than $10 million of grants, ranging from $300 to $300,000 to build skills, reward excellence, improve access and teach others, vitalising an Australian culture. To find out more about the Cal Cultural Fund and the programs we support, or to apply for a grant, please visit our website at www.copyright.com.au or contact Cal directly.